Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. The Super Easter Egg, the Revelations alternate ending, is a big conspiracy concocted by Treyarch itself. Get out your tinfoil hats because let me lay down some conspiracies on you. There has been this hope ever since Revelations has been speculated, ever since Black Ops 3, that there would be multiple endings to this storyline. The ending we got, we complete the cycle, we go back and we do everything. We want more. We want a way to break the cycle. From a storyline perspective, there should be a super Easter egg. There should be a way. We've completed every other Easter egg step. We've done everything we're supposed we've done the right thing the right thing for everybody and we need to break the cycle away from dr monty where the children are actually safe but all this hype all of this speculation all of this that makes sense for there to be a super easter egg is simply what exactly treyarch wants it to be and this has been their game plan from day one they are not ones to conclude stuff look at the ending of revelations we complete the cycle it's completely lackluster we want more treyarch doesn't want to give us more the minute they give us more we are done with it we are completed with it and we aren't interested anymore and we're not going to play it or think about it or talk about it or promote it at all the minute we figure everything out the minute we understand why we do everything the the, the minute we get a complete story is the minute we stop making videos about it promoting their games promoting all of their zombie stuff and they don't want that to happen at all. I know, real tin foil hat, right? But it's sort of true on some level at least. Yes, they want some sort of conclusion, but that's exactly what we got with Black Ops 3. Hey, it's a continued loop, right? It's a continued cycle that's an ending. It's completely ambiguous, but not all questions are answered, and that's exactly what they want. And any little bit that anybody says about hey there's got to be more or hey there's this that can be found it's all going to be hype it's all going to be speculation Treyarch wants us to believe that there is more even if there isn't especially if there isn't any more even if there is a grandiose super easter egg in terms of gameplay it's gonna suck it's not going to be fulfilling because it's so convoluted that we can't find it, if, even if we're looking for it. You know, it's not something that's going to be obvious. It's not going to be something that's rewarding. It's going to be like finding miniature rocks around the map, shooting them randomly and getting bones from them for some reason. Something that totally doesn't make sense. That's totally not rewarding or fun. And it's going to be ridiculous. And like I said, from a storyline perspective, I would love, I would absolutely love a super easter egg. There has to be a super easter egg, but unfortunately I believe that that's going to be the next game. I feel like Black Ops 4 is going to be us dealing with Dr. Monty. Maybe not with the Origins 4 or the original 4, but it's going to be a new group of characters, perhaps the transit characters, dealing with Dr. Monty and his evil schemes. Because like we saw, the summoning key is still out in space, so that is just a Pandora's box for the developers to use to bring back literally everything that we've dealt with in Black Ops 3. But as far as any real fabrication of a alternate ending or alternate easter egg, it's got to be given up for at this point. Give it up. There's no chance at finding it. Now, there are still probably some little Easter eggs here and there that we haven't found quite yet. I wholeheartedly believe that. For example, the Gorod Krovi Monkey Bomb upgrades. That was incredibly intuitive. That was so simple. It's super fun. I need to make a guide on that, by the way. But that was really cool to find a couple months after that map was released. I thought that was super awesome. Uh, but... The fact that, if you don't know, if you haven't heard or you don't follow Mr. Waffle Waffles, there was an encrypted file folder in Black Ops 3 that we found when the PC version was released. We uh, uncrypted it, decrypted it, I don't know all the technical stuff, but all it was was just the Shadows of Evil intro cutscene. 
So this is the developers putting in something to get us hyped up, encrypting it to make us think, to give us time to get hyped up, to get us excited, to start looking in the map, to, to, to make all of our videos, to play the game, to promote their game. And it's just the Shadows of Evil intro cutscene. They are not gonna put that in here. They're not gonna put a super Easter egg in here. They're gonna try and get us to believe that there's some sort of alternate ending because that's what they want. They want their lifespan of their game to last a lot longer. What we have now is all we're going to get. We're not gonna get extra detail on the storyline. We're not gonna get any extra detail. Uh, or we're not gonna get any extra cutscenes or anything. It's simply not going to happen. Uh, maybe maybe when we solve ciphers all that good stuff ciphers are great I love ciphers and they're incredibly interesting, but that is the only storyline that we're gonna get from now on Unfortunately, this has been the most underwhelming the most disappointing Ending they could have probably come up with the ending was always gonna be disappointing because it is an ending and they can't answer every single question but there are so many better ways and better ideas and better ways of going about this that anybody in the zombies community really could have executed better than the entire team at Treyarch and that's very disappointing I mean they did not go very far at concluding anything this has been one of the worst storytelling endings I think I've ever had in a video game it's incredibly fun and the whole media of Easter eggs in game during a zombies game during a round based bonus mode is amazing and it's super fun and I understand how crazy and wacky it's gotten and it doesn't really make sense at all but like I said there are so many better ways they could have actually put this together and they just didn't just because they didn't want to. They didn't want us to feel that feeling of satisfaction of a conclusion. Just because they wanted us to continue playing and that's incredibly frustrating and probably the worst decision they could have made at this point. It's a big slap in the face to fans. You've been following us for eight to nine years. Well, here's an ending you won't like. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Can you taste the salt? I hope you can. Sorry if I'm being a little bit negative, but that is my final thoughts on the entire Zombies storyline. I will be making Revelations 101 as well as some other videos here coming in the weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next absolutely beautiful Zombies moment, I will catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.